from a 30 inch by 30 inch piece of metal, squares are cut out of the four corners so that the sides can be folded up to make a box. Let X represent the length of the sides of the squares in inches that are cut out. Express the volume of the function, express the volume as a function of X. So before we get started, let's quickly remind ourselves here that the volume of a box is equal to the length times the width times the height. So you can say volume V is equal to our length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So to get us started, let's draw a picture of this box. So here, or not a box, it's originally a square. And we know, we can label our sides, we know this length here is 30 inches, and our width is also 30 inches. Now what we want to do is cut out congruent squares, so squares of the same size, from each corner. So we'll indicate these congruent squares here. And we want to keep in mind that they each our x units long is given in the question. So we can mark that. So each one of these new little side lengths here is x. And that's what we'll be folding up on the sides. These are all equal. So notice the original width and length have been adjusted. So here is our new width. We can say that we had an original length of 30 inches, but now we're subtracting 1x plus another x down here. So we can rewrite this as 30 minus 2x. So that is our width. And the same thing occurs with the length. Right here is our new length. So our original length started off with 30 inches, but now we're subtracting x plus x from each corner. So this is 30 minus 2x. So we have our new length and our new width. And then again, we want to keep in mind here that this, what we've been labeling as these little x's, those are the height. You can say that h is equal to x inches. So now we have our length, our width, and our height in terms of x. So we're ready to plug this into the volume equation. So we know that our volume is again equal to our length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So this is going to be equal to 30 minus 2x multiplied by 30 minus 2x multiplied by x. And so we already have this written as a function of x. We just need to simplify. So I'm going to start here by foiling this region out. So we'll have 30 times 30, which leaves us with 900. We have 30 times a negative 2 for a minus 60x. Negative 2x times 30 is minus 60x. And then a negative 2x times negative 2x will give us a plus 4x squared. So we can continue rewriting our volume here as 900 minus 120x plus 4x squared. And don't forget that x on the outside. So then last but not least here, we want to go ahead and distribute this x through to each piece. Which leaves us with 900 times x minus 120x times x gives us x squared. And then plus 4x squared times x leaves us with x cubed. So 
So therefore, the volume v as a function of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 120x squared plus 900x. And that is our beautiful final answer.